cannot resist asking you for the famous words our viewers will remember. My pillow. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, saying, just, I'm I, saying, you're looking good. I knew you would. <laughs> I love it. Oh, goodness. The most successful sleep product in the history of sleep. I always wonder what your bed at home looks like. Pillow talk. My pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, recently pulled his ads from Fox News. We have a Fox News alert. We have a banned pillow salesman. Why does Fox News hate a good night's sleep? He makes great pillows. Why'd you guys get rid of him? Come on. Well, have you seen Lou Dobbs? You know, for a network that puts so many people to sleep, you'd think they want to sell a few of these. This embarrassing one-man protest comes amidst Lindell raging against the Fox News machine for refusing to air a commercial about his upcoming cyber symposium, his latest attempt to promote the conspiracy that Donald Trump won the presidential election. A million dollars a week. That's how much my pillow founder Mike Lindell says he's losing after pulling his ads from Fox News. Why? Because Fox wouldn't run this. All of you know what my pillow and myself have gone through in the last five months. I'm having a cyber symposium on August 10th, 11th, and 12th. Well, here at Newsmax, we believe in a good night's sleep, so we're running that ad. And today, we're taking Fox News to the mattresses. For 50 million, you'd think they'd run that ad, right? I would hope so, if he's paying for it. I guess 50 million just doesn't go as far as it used to. Thanks, Joe Biden. All this, even though Fox News loves Lindell. Probably the most famous face on Fox News, Mike Lindell. He's a creative product that you are familiar with. We all have your pillows on our beds, and I walk into Bed Bath & Beyond, <laughs> and you're everywhere. You're on all of our TV screens. Eric, you've got such a remarkable story. We support you, and we love your commercial. No. I've probably watched more of your spots than any living human being. You're a good man, Mike. Thank you very, very much. You are a remarkable entrepreneur. You are the American but dream. You are the, you really have lived the American dream. Hey, everyone. I'm Melissa Bernardino. Thanks for being here. Of course, Newsmax and One American News agreed to air Lindell symposium ad and now Newsmax comes out with this embarrassing one-man protest to Fox News why are Newsmax and OAN vying for Lindell's attention well despite the goodwill the media pounced folks it can't be that they're fighting to replace Fox News as the recipient of 50 million dollars in ad revenue right 50 million dollars would you run his ad I would hey sir quick question for you how far can 50 million dollars get us we'll get you to book it Fox's rejection of the ad comes at a time that the network is faced with ongoing lawsuits after being charged for airing defamatory comments about voting machine manufacturers. But it's really the pot calling the kettle black here. If you remember, earlier this year, Newsmax anchor Bob Sellers walked out of an interview with Lindell because the pillow guy was touting his voting machines that would apparently prove, without a shadow of a doubt, that Trump won the election. Can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have right, not been able wait, to verify wait, any of those wait, allegations. Wait, that you're, you're, Mike, oh, hold on a second. Right, Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, Sellers apologized, but did Newsmax fire the anchor or issue a statement disavowing this atrocious act of cancel culture? No, but OAN had something to say about it. Newsmax is the latest place where... Uh, they have censored conservative voices. Newsmax touts itself as real news for real people, but is this yet another case of a so-called fair and unbiased network being swept up by leftist censorship? The right wing is eating itself in this baseless, contradictory fight against censorship. Apparently, free speech and pro-Trump messaging is considered fringe at Fox, but not here. And this pillow guy is at the center of it. This is what our politics has come to. Mike Lindell, he sells pillows. 